I also want to have you comment on when you said sometimes it may matter because I know there's someone out there being like, ooh, when does it matter? Well, I think, um, you know, in terms of the negotiation element, it's something that we, we often call the guilt window. Um, and what that is, is really, okay, while the court might not necessarily care, the other spouse may care, right? There might be an opportunity where they feel guilty for what they did. And so what we can do is try and leverage that. I mean, what you, what you want to say is, okay, maybe they're in this position where because they're guilt, they, they feel guilty for what they did, maybe you can get something. Maybe it's you want to stay in the house and we can take advantage of this and we can say, you know what? let's go now and try and get you to stay in the house because they felt bad for what they were doing. Or maybe, you know, there's some sort of additional spousal support or something like that, that we can kind of pull out in a negotiation because your spouse is feeling guilty about what they did. So while the court may not recognize it or not necessarily take it into account as the reason, because the reason for the divorce doesn't really matter, we can still utilize that as leverage when we're going. Yeah, through the process. I mean, that's, that's great. If, if the person does have guilt and remorse 